you were around 20 years ago in the industry, you remember seeing all these stories about 42 volt. 42 volt was gonna enable electric power steering, stop start mechanisms, and other accessories on the vehicle. But it never happened. 42 volt kind of fell to the wayside. So what happened to 42 volt? Well, the fact that 12 volt got a whole lot better. Just consider this. On a Tesla, the electric power steering, it's 12 volt. The ABS system, it's 12 volt. All of the normal architecture that you'd see on a vehicle, it's all 12 volt. So how did they improve 12 volt to make sure that it works not only on an electric vehicle, but also on a normal internal combustion vehicle? Well, they improved the battery and also management of the alternator so they could accept these higher loads. For some components like electric power steering, well, they made these motors a lot more efficient. They also made the system with more mechanical advantage by mounting the motor either on the column itself or on the rack. So 42 volt was not needed. So in these cases, 12 volts stayed around. The improvements to 12 volts, well, it's right here, the AGM battery, and also the management of the alternator. With these more powerful AGM batteries, well, they act as a buffer or a storage well of electricity for the electric power steering. This brings me to my point about maintenance. Just remember and make sure when one of your customers comes to your shop with their late model vehicle that number one, you're inspecting the battery. And if it does need replacement, make sure you're using an AGM battery or whatever is required from the catalog itself. This way you'll ensure that these systems like electric power steering and also stop start will function properly after the battery is replaced. I'm Andrew Markell. Thank you very much. Oh,